What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know there hasn't been a lot of Honda Fit content lately, but I promise you there's a lot more that we're gonna be going to do. And today we will be doing a clutch delay valve delete. So this valve that comes with the car helps you engage the clutch smoother and slower no matter what. So if you dump the clutch and you're trying to get into first gear or second gear right away, it still slows down that engagement, which can get annoying if you're trying to drive spiritedly. It's gonna simplify the system and hopefully make it feel a lot better. So let's get started. Like every other video, we're gonna first remove the intake. Then the battery. I unclip these wires from the battery tray and the side of the engine. I used a bungee cord to set these aside to give us a little more room to work. So here's the clutch master cylinder where the clutch line comes off of. I used a 12 millimeter line wrench. Do not use an open end wrench or it'll strip. I also use some pliers to hold the rubber piece below. If you have vice grips though, definitely use them. It'll be 10 times easier. I loosened it, but I didn't completely remove it yet. I removed the battery tray to give us more room to see everything. And it's super easy to remove with just three bolts. Now we can clearly see the clutch delay valve. I removed the two bolts that hold the valve to the bracket. Honestly, this isn't necessary. I thought it would help, but it didn't do much. Now I removed the two bolts holding the bracket onto the chassis. On the slave cylinder side, we're gonna try to crack open the line nut with a 10 millimeter line wrench. Again, it's now worth trying an open-ended 10 mil. Big mistake here was removing this clip. I believe this clip will help reduce the twisting of the line, so keep this on until you crack open the nut. I'd use some PB blaster, but all I had was WD-40 laying around. Using some pliers on the other end, I was able to crack open the line nut. In theory, the clutch line and valve should all come out in one piece. On the right is the OEM system, and the left is the single stainless line. It always feels good to simplify things on the car. Now, the new clutch line goes in. Slide the female end of the clutch line into the bracket, and thread the line nut in by hand. Using the line wrench and vice grips if you have them, tighten them together. After it's tight, Maybe another quarter to half turn. It doesn't need to be crazy tight. Slide the clip back in. Now on the master cylinder side, I did the same thing. Hand threaded the male end in, and used pliers and the line wrench to tighten them together. Now just reassemble everything back together. Yeah. 
Now looking at the engine from the front, you'll be able to see the clutch bleeder right there. That's in between the fan and the block. So you're gonna take that rubber cap off and use an eight millimeter wrench to just quarter turn this or half turn this, and then liquid should be able to come out, and then you're just gonna half turn back to shut it off. I had Michelle push the clutch pedal in around five times and then leaving it down. And then hold it down. Then I cracked open the bleeder to let all the air out for a couple seconds. Then I closed the bleeder. Okay, you did it five times? And you're holding it down? Okay. Also be careful, always watch the clutch fluid level. After a few times the fluid will go down, but make sure it doesn't go empty or you'll introduce more air into the system. Don't worry if the clutch pedal initially won't go up. It will eventually pop back up, maybe after five times. After doing this a bunch of times, the clutch pedal will eventually feel normal. We did this about 15 to 20 times, just to make sure there's no air, and also to have new fluid. All right, now that it's done, make sure you test it out. We went on a mini road trip about 300 miles or so. I honestly thought it would be a placebo effect or a very slight difference, but it's a big difference. The first thing I noticed was the pedal was a bit stronger, meaning I needed to put a little bit more force to push the clutch down. It's not a bad thing because the original configuration, the clutch was so easy to push in that you kind of couldn't feel where the clutch was gonna engage or when to release it. Number two, a lot more pedal feel. A lot of people say that and I wasn't really sure what they meant by that. I don't know how to explain this, but you can kind of feel the pressure of the fluid in the system through the pedal. So you can feel the vibrations and when you push it in, you could feel it getting tighter or looser. Number three, the engagement point and getting into gear is a lot more consistent. Before, I'm not sure why, but when I'm trying to engage the clutch slowly, it would start to stutter sometimes and then sometimes it wouldn't. It was just very inconsistent, but now you can really feel where the clutch is gonna engage. And then the last thing, spirited driving. When you're trying to shift faster and let go of the clutch pedal faster, it actually engages right away. There's no more weird delay or anything. Also forgot to mention, this kit that I got is from Seb's Garage. I think his name is Sebastian. He's been recently making Honda Fit parts, especially for the GD chassis. It's not an expensive part and it changes the driving experience by far. It's my daily driver, like I said, so I'm trying to change my driving experience on a day-to-day -day basis. It doesn't have to have crazy power or anything like that but every time I push the clutch in, it just feels a lot better now. We're gonna do a couple more things in this video, so hopefully you enjoy this. I've only put one windshield banner up my entire life. That was on my BMW E30. Maybe I'll show a picture right now of it. But besides that, I've never really done vinyl work, or I did some on my on my sob on the B pillar, but this letter is already coming off. So what do we do? This is so stressful. Oh God. Okay, some of the letters are on there. God damn it. All right, not off to a good start. Honestly, this is the thing where you need a lot of patience. Okay, holy f This is not good guys. Okay, whatever. I don't care. It's too late. We put it on. Oh yeah, I haven't even told you guys. This is a Circuit Hero banner. It's actually not supposed to be a banner. It's just a large sticker, I think. But Circuit Hero was a very popular brand back in the early 2000s. They still do Honda parts. They're still pretty popular. But back in the day, they had this really cool Integra that I really liked. And it's just, they made really cool parts for all the Hondas. I ordered a, a couple more parts from them that I'll be installing, but I just wanted to give them a little shout out. I like their stuff. All right. Look, oh my God, that eye is f***ed up. Look at this. Oh shit, the ass broke. Okay. Okay, everything else is fine. Except for rare goo is in the bottom. And then this S broke off. All right, so I tried to move those letters down there, back up top. I think I did an okay job. I mean, from here, you can't really tell. Let me zoom in. I mean, it's pretty good for what it is. It's just a damn sticker. 
I think it's a nice subtle touch for now. I can always remove it down the road, but. And last but not least is a reservoir sock or cover. It's honestly kind of for show, but the reason why this was made was when you put the sock on here, it avoids leaks from spilling everywhere else because brake fluid can eat up through stuff. So it'll keep the liquid in there, and then also if the cap is loose or something, it'll still hold it in place. A very difficult installation, and you know this adds at least 10 horsepower, right? Let's see how this looks. I mean, look at that. I mean, this looks kind of cool, honestly. I wasn't gonna go with the spoon look. I thought about doing a spoon theme on my car, but I want to do something different, so... That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys were on the fence on buying the clutch delay valve delete, just do it. It's worth it. It's not a lot of money. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Honda Fit series, and I'll see you guys next time.